around. Pretty girls all around, pretty girls all around. Uh -huh. Martin once again. Me call the sun. So nice to meet you, could you tell me where you're from? Never seen a girl like you, you're hotter than the sun Hotter than the sun, girl, you're hotter than the sun Me and you together in the island having fun Hello everyone, welcome to Picture Barber Show I am Picture Poet And today we have a lineup of a few guests Who are going to enlighten us about their lives Most importantly, about their talents So today we have Natalie Hi Natalie. Hi. How are you doing? I'm okay. So tell us, who is Natalie? Hmm, interesting. Um, Natalie is a singer-songwriter, a very passionate girl about music. And yeah, music is my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you said music is your life. Yeah. As for now, are you in school? What are you doing? Yes, I'm actually in school. Um, Pursuing a bachelor's degree in computer science as I take music on the side. Well, yeah. Where do you take music? Um, I wouldn't say I take music as a career, it's more of a hobby, but it pays some bills, so yeah. <laughs> okay, I won't lie about this because Natalie really sings nicely. She's done a number of projects and um, you'll see them as you continue. So, when did you start singing Natalie? Um, I started singing when I was three. Um, I, I started singing in church. Yeah, I go to Don Bosco Upper Hill. So I started singing in church. And I remember when I first sang, I was put on a table because I was too short. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like that's where my music started from. Then I went all the way to kindergarten. I sang in high school and I'm here now. Yeah. So if I may ask, what mo pushed you or what motivated you to start singing at that tender age? Um, can I talk about a matter of loneliness? Okay, <laughs> talk about it. It's <coughs> Sorry. Um, it's more of, I'm an only kid and my mom lives abroad. So the only way I could have fun on my own was by music, yeah? And the fact that um, I'm a very conservative person, most people would beg to differ, mm -hmm. but I'm quite conservative. Really? Because you're not a loud person? It's, it's, I'm it's loud because I'm close to you guys, but when it comes to the outside world, I'm quite conservative. So music was my only way of communication since I'm also good at writing. So I combined my singing and my songwriting and I produced Music. Okay. Yeah. So you said you write music. <coughs> what have you written for any any musician out there? And uh, would you like to pursue it in future to write for people like you know people from the states? Yeah, like they Beyonce, write for yeah, other people. Yeah. Songs. They're not good in some in some writing. Yeah. Would you like to do that in future? Yeah, I'd actually love to because I have a number of songs that are not really my genre that I'd like other people to sing. Like at the moment, I'm collaborating with um, some musician, he's Kenyan, but he's based in the US. It's called Kim Murethi. So I'm collaborating with him to write some music for him since he does um, more of pop and R&B, and that's not really my genre. So I, I'm actually collaborating with him. The project will be out probably in March, mm -hmm. so yeah. So are you from a musical family? Because many people say that, well, my dad was in choir, yeah. and, worship, <clears throat> and all that. Are you from a musical family? My mom cannot sing, <laughs> but my dad was in the choir, and my grandma sings. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I'd say my, my dad took over the genes of music. Okay. You took it from him? Yeah, I took them from him, sorry. Yeah. Do you, do you play a musical instrument? Yeah, I play a few. Um, I play piano, violin, flute, and bass guitar. Wow. Yeah. How did you learn all that? I actually started with piano. Uh -huh. um, the, my, my pianist, he's called Ben, 
he, when I used to sing like around class six, he told me I'm quite useless just as a musician. <laughs> like he told me straight up, I'm quite useless as a musician because if I don't have a musical instrument as a background, I'll keep on depending on people. And you see, when it comes to songwriting, it's a very hard thing when you don't know an instrument because um, you don't know what chords to play, you don't know when to enter into the hook and everything. So the fact that I started practicing and playing piano led me to liking other things because I'm really into... Funny thing is when it comes to my singing, I like very slow, calm music. But when it comes to instruments, I like very fast and, you know, mm -hmm. so that's why I started learning things like the bass guitar because contrasting, I like contrast. Okay. Yeah. So, as we speak, you said you're collaborating with someone. Yeah. In the US. Yes. Would you like to collaborate with anyone in Kenya and who would you Ooh, I have so many. Mm -hmm. um, King Kaka, for wow. once. Mm -hmm. I love King Kaka. Um, Calligraph Jones. Um, but if you don't rap, Right. Yeah, but I sing. Probably I could do a hook for him or something. Wow. Or probably he could feature in my music yeah. when I make it. <laughs> um, and Wangeshi. Like, she's released her album, Don't Consume If Seal Is Broken. Mm -hmm. It's very captivating. Like, Kenya is going far when it comes to music. And I'm happy that they're like, opening up for us who are just upcoming. Because it, it makes us feel good. It makes me feel good. Yeah. yeah. So, what genre of music do you sing? I sing a mixture of so much because I, it depends on like the song I'm writing. If one thing I know, I can't write fast music. I can't write music um, like for my Cyrus and everything. I can't. <laughs> like that is so hard for me. I am more of... Um, Afrofusion, yeah. but mixed with R&B. Because I love African beats, I'm an Africanist. I mean, I'm a Pan-Africanist. Mm -hmm. So anything that's, that has African beats really appeals to me. That's the fastest I could go. But I do Afrofusion and R&B. Yeah. yeah. You've said you're doing what course at Shiana? Computer science. Would you like to do music for your lifetime rather than doing computer science as a career? Well, I'd say uh, um, if God wills it, because God is the one who gave me this talent, if he wants me to sing and not do computer science, I'll follow his will, you know, because computer, computers are actually my second love. Mm -hmm. So the fact that um, I actually couldn't pursue music because my family was a bit skeptical about me going abroad and doing a degree in music, and I figured since I have the talent, let me... I'm perfect on another talent, yeah. which is computers, because I'm a geek. Yeah. yeah, so if God wills it, so be it. So be it. Yeah. Because, you know, um, many musicians you know, out there, most of them began in the church. Yeah. And now they are in the outer. <coughs> yeah. So I think you're going to follow the same suit or not? Because you're much of secular music? I'm, I'm not really. I, I wouldn't call myself a secular artist. I'd call myself a contemporary, contemporary artist because I sing about life and I sing about ups and downs. I sing about, like, secular music is more of the um, world. I sing about life yeah. and life is what you make it. I sing about love. I sing about God. God gave us love, so yeah. why would I sing about it? You know? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Just to be personal with you, what uh -huh. the truth and nothing else <laughs> for pure Oh, wow. Yes, so is that an dating? <clears throat> she sing someone? Well, is Natalie dating? Interesting. <laughs> yes, she has to answer. I, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm, I'm somewhere with someone. Oh, you, you want more? Please go ahead. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you want me to say about the person? I, I will not reveal the name for sure. Don't. No, you won't ask me. Yeah. That is just enough that you are someone. Yeah, I'm, 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 okay, I'm seeing someone. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> okay, so as we wind up our show today, what would you like to tell people who want to sing at this tender age? 
people who want to to nurture their singing career? Yeah. Like what would you what would your advice be? Um, my advice would be to follow your heart. If you know so many of our of, of, of our kids in our generation, they are falling into so much. Like if you have problems with family, take it out on whatever talent you have. For example, music. If your friends have pissed you off, write a song about it. Who knows? It might yeah. make, you know, it's a better way than going into drugs and alcohol and suicide and everything. So music is a, it's a therapy. It's, a, it's an emotional therapy. Because after I sing, I really feel so, you know, calm and at peace. So. You know, yeah, <laughs> like, Yes, <laughs> you know. So, like, follow your heart, and when you when you when when you figure that you have a talent, go for it because you don't know where it might take you. You know, like if you start, no matter where you start. I know. Um, there's some lady called Jun Gashui. She's 40. She released her album. She's a lawyer. At such a, I wouldn't say an old age, but a mature age. Yeah. So if God wills it, your time will come. That's why I'm not in a hurry to force myself into the music scene. God will create a time for me. True. Yeah. Okay, that's a nice point to end our show today. Thank you. So it was a pleasure having you today. You're today. welcome. We wish you all the best in your musical career. Thank you. And if God wills it. Wills it. Yes. And so be it. So be it. Yeah. So there you have it with Natalie Mbula. You have heard about how you've heard about her musical career. So stay tuned for the second part of the show. We have a, a new talent in town. We won an award. Please, dot, dot, dot. See you then. Never seen you rock so. Oh. Yeah, greetings massive. Everything IRA, I man is lying with tomorrow representing for Warrior Music. For the Vano man, black people soprano. That's a Warrior Music. Pushing on, you know. This is Lucia Genesis with a couple of them is taking, and you're listening to the Warrior Music, sounds of the Warrior Music. Just think about it. Oh, life in Kingston Town. Life in Kingston Town She calls out to the man on the street Sir, can you help me? It's cold and I've no place to sleep Is there somewhere you can tell me? He walks on and doesn't look back he pretends he can't hear her Starts to whistle as he left Augustine Seems embarrassed to be there Oh, think twice It's just another day for you and me in Kingston Town Oh, think twice Just another day for you Have you been so long in my life? You.
like my very first hit song All this time I have been rising But you have made me into a star And without your love I'm nothing Who I am now is who you are I would climb the highest mountain Yes, I do it Uh-huh Give me a Nissi or Ocean I'd swim through it Yeah, yeah Just to prove to you my love is never ending No, no An eternity with you I'll be spending So baby, take my love, take it all My everything, I give it to you Please take full control of my heart I'm fine, thank you, Faye. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Uh -huh. Can't complain. Nice. Yep. So we've really waited for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we thank God you're here. So tell people who is Hiram right now. Oh, Hiram is just simply a very humble guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, an actor I'm very, very well known for in acting industry. And I'm also a, an upcoming journalist a teacher by profession mm -hmm. and also you know i have a ambition to join maybe tv uh ready hosting come maybe one year from now wow yes okay he's really a man of many titles mm. i won't lie yeah. so you've said you're a teacher yes by profession by profession so it seems you're very old how no. old are you uh, <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm just over 20 years. Mm -hmm. I'm over 20 okay, years. Okay, let's be precise. Early 20s, mid 20s? Early 20s, I'm early 20s. Mm -hmm. Yes. With those titles. Yes, with those titles. Okay. Yes. So, let us, today we're talking about your career as an actor. Many people have seen you in Mashtaka, Tidy High, and other Kikuyu, Kikuyu shows, right? Mm -hmm. Would you name those Kikuyu shows that people don't know? <laughs> There's one that I did in, in 20, 2012, 2013 Apple. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, so I should like say in Kikuyu. Just say the name. <laughs> <laughs> it was called Moiguidania, mm -hmm. meaning, uh, <laughs> Moiguidania. <laughs> uh, Moiguidania, I don't know the meaning. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> That yes. Okay, Sawa, Sawa. <laughs> mm. So when did Hiram start acting? Acting. Yeah. Oh, okay. Started acting in professional acting. Like, you know, if we have acting for money for when, like I did start my acting, my professional acting where I, I get paid in 2010. Mm -hmm. uh, I acted, that's when I started acting uh, theater uh, here in Kenya National Theater. I did with a, with uh, a group called, well, it was Raf Raf, Raf Raf Casting Agency. Mm -hmm. It was owned by the late Jastorina, many knew her as Jastorina. She's late now. Yeah, yeah, I know. So I acted there like for up to 20, 2014 when she died. So after that is when now I joined TV. Okay. Yes. So you said professionally, you said that 2010? 2010. So earlier were you acting? Yes, at that time I was a, st a, a student, so I was acting, you know, at school. Uh, that was all beyond. I didn't. No pain. Just no acting. pain. No, just acting for passion. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, when you started with, uh, to be featured on TV, how was it? When, you know, people say it's really hard for you to get on TV because you started at national theatre and initially you're not getting paid. Was it really hard as people say it's hard to get into to TV shows? Yes, I can say it is hard. Mm -hmm. It is very hard because for me it took me like five years to see myself uh, in the screen. Because in 2010, I came, uh, when I started acting in 2010, 
my first TV show was Mashtaka, and I, it was, I, I got that role in 20, 20, 2013, if I'm not wrong. And so it took me like three years, yes. you see. So it is hard. You just don't wake up and say, okay, today I just, you know, I'll just go look for a job. Uh, in, and, and no, no, it does not go. Plus, uh, the producers, what they do to get, you know, those characters. You must be in the industry for you to get uh, those roles. So you must be like in theaters, those groups, uh, the producers get actors from there. Okay. Yes. So you've said you have, you have, you're a man of many titles. Yes. Mara a teacher, mm -hmm. Mara an actor, yes. Mara studio awards. Do you want to pursue acting for your life or do you want to do? You have a degree in accounts. Yes, not a degree, a, a diploma. Yeah, yes. whatever it is, you've yes. studied accounting, accounting yes. you've studied uh, education. Edu education. What do you That's want to pursue? Okay, me, I just want to be a filmmaker. But to be precise, um, maybe, in, yes, I, I want to be an actor, but at the same time, I want to be a TV producer, directing and script writing. That is what I like very much because, uh, you know, for, screen, the, when, for actors, it is a lot of work. Uh, plus acting, producing, um, directing, writing is all the same. So just to be in the department of film making, yeah, film making, that's for me. Education, accounting, no. You know, in this time and age, our parents are not into the arts career. They are into the sciences, medicine, law, engineering. If I may ask, how did your mom or dad take you, take Hira in acting, in the acting industry? <laughs> okay. Um, uh, for me, when I finished high school, I just went to school of accounts um, and I did my, 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 section, my section one and two in account. And uh, because at that time everyone in my family was doing accounting, so they just decided that I should also join them to do accounts. And uh, after that, I just said, you know, enough is enough. And I started education. Uh, because at that time I did not know that journalism, you know, is a career. Because actually, people, you say, they, you know, the people that you interact with can influence you. I remember someone was telling me, like, uh, you cannot study journal journalism is a talent and all that, uh -huh. filmmaking is a talent. So when I did uh, education, actually I did a certificate in education. And I, uh, after I started teaching, um, that's when um, I, 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 I got a, a role yeah. on the Citizen TV drama. Okay. So I had to leave teaching and everything. And uh, that's when now my eyes opened and I saw now acting as a, as a you know, a career. a career, journalism as a career. And you can live uh, comfortably when you're doing Filmmaking, journalism, you can live like a, 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 normal, a pa normal person. Yes, you can. Okay, so, mm. Hira, mm. what roles do you, do you like to play on those TV mm. dramas? Uh, first of all, you could have asked my, 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 my role. Yes. In Tahiti Hai. Yes. Um, Hiram is, I always say that, I should, I should not say he's a gossiper. Mm -hmm. Because, <laughs> <laughs> but... Tell no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Uh -huh. so, but in Tahiti, they try to portray me as that guy who, like, you know, he tries to do everything, you know, to get noticed. He doesn't care what, what will happen, but at the end of the day, he finds that he's not doing the right thing, you see. But he's a good guy. Everyone knows Hiram as a good guy. Mm -hmm. But in the process, he talks too much. Like he can get you into trouble. Every time. Every time now and then. He can just say a thing and you find yourself in a trouble with a teacher. So that is Hiram's character. But in real life, Hiram is a very <laughs> noble guy. <laughs> For very real, <laughs> my director, producer, said, no, no, that's a lie. Very humble, very humble, <laughs> down to earth. And you can see that. OK. Mm. So Hiram, mm. in Tahiti High, you're, you're, you're without the the turban. The turban. Mm -hmm. And 
real life you met up. Yes. Are you living a double life in <laughs> acting and in real life? What no. is it? You know when you enroll for acting, there's one characteristic in acting. It is flexibility. As an actor, you should be flexible in any character or role that you're given by your producer or your director or your scriptwriter. So for me, when I was auditioned, I was, they, when they auditioned me, not audition, when they did an uh, audition, uh, they were looking for the, a guy who can play maybe a form two guy, 16 years old, yeah. and his character traits were given below, his looks were given below, but they did not mention something like a uh, turban thing. Mm -hmm. So for me as a character, I've done many characters in, in movies, and I know that acting is all about being flexible. And you see, even in movies, even these Nigerian movies, mm -hmm. you, you see that someone uh, is, is maybe acting as a witchcraft, as a sorcerer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in real life, when you find that person, he or she is totally different, yeah. v totally different. So the same applies in my case. So Hira, just on Saturday, right, you won an award. Extreme, on, on Sunday. On Sunday. Yes. You won an award. Yes. And to be sincere, you were so afraid that you wouldn't win because yes. you had a lot of competitors. Very true. So how was it winning? Yeah. Me, I just so got in it because I never <laughs> expected it. You know, I never expected it. I even, when I was telling people to vote for me, I never knew that I could win. Actually, even on, on that night, me, I was just saying, ah, he is a young because I was competing with big people in the industry. But it just happened that, you know, as they were announcing <laughs> their word, I think the winner is Hiram. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> it was so, it was, it was the did most. Did you come with the award today? No, I did not come with the award today. But, you'll see, it, but right? you'll see it, of course. Yes. So, what would you advise anyone who would like to join the, the acting industry? the film industry as well? Me, what I can say, if you are maybe there and you want to become an artist, uh, you should not just say, okay, me, I just want to become an, art an actor, I, I just want to become an, a musician, and uh, what you do, you just relax. No, it does not work that way in this industry. What you must do, you should, uh, I, should I will use one word, you, you be aggressive and a go-getter, because in this, uh, industry. It is very competitive. Uh, people are coming, new artists are coming and uh, they have, you know, unique side of, of in, in themselves. So you should just work hard. Be aggressive. Go for those auditions. Uh, come be creative because it's all about creativity. Mm -hmm. And of course, I always pray to God. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, so, so here I'm, uh where should we, where could we get you on these social media platforms? Okay, you can maybe like my page. Uh, I have an official page, uh, Facebook account, Facebook page. Mm -hmm. uh, it is Hiram Maina page. Mm -hmm. Then uh, on Facebook account, it is Hiram Maina. On Instagram, it is official Hiram Maina. And on Twitter, it is also official, it is official Hiram Maina. Yes, and Snapchat, Hera Minor 5. Mm -hmm. yes. They're just running somewhere here. Yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you follow him, like him, the boot up, everything. Of course. So who do you look up to as you went to the show? Um, in the industry. In the industry. Who do you look up to? And why? In local, international. Let's start with local and international. international. Here in, in Africa, in Kenya. <laughs> look to myself. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Internationally. Internationally, I look at Colin Morgan. Mm -hmm. I just like the way he acts. He's a very good actor, very good actor, Colin Morgan. He's well known for a show called Marlin. Mm -hmm. He did it so well. And I love the show, by the way. Wow. Yes. Sawa, <laughs> thank you for your time. Welcome. It was a blessing having you. It was a pleasure mm -hmm. having you. And we wish to see you next time when you win another hour. Amen, amen. It is coming. Internationally. Right. Amen. It is coming, it is coming. <laughs> She's coming and I can see your director is laughing. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> because she's believing in it. She's believing yeah, in it. I hope so. Yeah, amen, amen. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you everyone for watching. This was the Chabarbar show. And I uh, wish that you watch our next show, same time, same place. I was your host, Big Chapo, and she'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Tu